All right, so this is the auto refractor and the tonometer. We're going to start the patient on this machine here. So we'll align her and put your forehead forward. Okay. So with this machine, all you got to do is just get that those Myers and the machine will do the work by itself. So as long as the patient stays still. Switch over to the other eye again. On the auto refractor, when you print it out, there's a number on top here. What you're going to do is press in right here, this blue button, and that number will show up. And if this matches, you just press AR for auto refractor, and it will automatically go in there for you. And it will also go into the barometer so um, you can get a starting point. Now, if the patient has their old glasses, uh, one of the ladies out front will print it out for you uh, with the lensometry reading, and you can do the same thing. You can press in, and then on the lensometry reading, there's also a little number, and you can go up and down to match that number, and then you press LM, which is the lensometer, okay? All right. Now, we'll get started with the exam here. So, this machine has a program, and all you have to do is when you start this program is press the program right here, and it's going to ask you if you want to input glasses data, and that's when you can either input the uh, lensometry reading by pressing those um, two buttons I showed you earlier. So you press no for now and you can go forward. Now I usually just go forward by pressing this button right here so it takes you to the next steps. So when I start a patient I usually press forward until I see the PD. So once the PD is on there just line the patient up. Okay. Now on here, there's a little blue light right here. When the blue light is on, that means the patient's forward head is not on there. So make sure the blue light is off while the patient's on there. And then you can line them through there, okay? And we can go back over here. And once they're lined up, we'll press the same button again. and it'll go to the next step. Now with this step, what it does is it covers one eye and it starts on um, one eye so you can start your refraction here. You can leave the whole chart here which is what the patient is seeing. Everything they see you can see right here. For you to um, 
isolate a line, let's say horizontally, you'll be pressing this button right here. So all of these buttons are for you to e either isolate line on the top. So when I press up, it'll isolate the, the 30 here. When I press down, it'll isolate the next line and the same thing here. Okay. Now if you wanted to change 2030 to 2060, you would press any of these here. So it goes from 2060 to 2040, 2030 to 2020, 2100 to 2070. So it's up to you and where you want to start. Okay. So I usually start with 2030. Okay. And we can start the refraction. So I'll ask the patient if she can see those letters out there. Yes. Okay. And so with this knob here, I can adjust the power. So if I turn, you see the negative here. So I turn right, it will be adding minus. Better or worse? Um, or about the same. About the same. Okay. And if I turn left, it will be a plus. Okay, so um, that is to uh, do the refraction for the sphericals. Okay, so uh, minus and plus. Okay, you can pause.